Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy, um, and we're going to do a bloom over this 8-inch bloom where I used too much black in the center. So I'm laying down my pillow paint. I'm going to show you the colors as I go. I was finishing a coaster set that I did, where I started a while back. I'll link the video below using these same colors. And I had enough of the colors left to do a little bloom. And since... Um, this was Operation Use Up Old Paint. I thought, well, let's go ahead and just use it up and do a little 8-inch or so. Um, my blowing out of my blooms is still on my agenda for practice, and um, I was very rusty. And so you'll see me struggle a little bit, but I think it turns out pretty. So that's uh, Van Dyke Brown from Amsterdam. Again, this is using up old paint. Sorry about the blurriness. So there was just enough in there. Used it up. Um, I also figured out those little, those little condiment cups with the lids. I usually peel the old paint out of my other ones that have the that are not intended to be disposable, and the paint peels out. But I did a test with one of those condiment cups and the paint will peel out of those too. So if you're just extra um, frugal um, or super, you know, environment conscious, just so you know, if you do use those disposable ones, you can probably get some use out of it. Uh, that's Mayan gold from the color art. It's a prison pour color. It's a nice light gold. Sorry, my camera was giving me the business that day. But anyway, obviously you can't use them forever. Um, because the lids will get gross, but you know, you can probably get two or three uses out of them. So I used to buy them by the, uh, the huge stack. And so, you know, just for what it's worth, you know, don't forget about the discount codes in the description box below. I have a 20% off for everything color art using Mandy one, one, two, zero. And, um, that is listed below. I also have uh, discount code for Australian Flow Troll from Pixel Paint Designs uh, using Mandy 10, which is what I use my uh, to mix with my cell activator. It's also where I get my boom gels. She's got some other stuff there. That's turquoise thalo. Uh, there's also all kinds of discount stuff below the KS resin. Um, I have a leak to Blick, which is where I buy all my regular paint, so my Amsterdam, Golden, etc., where I buy my round canvases, um, where I buy my regular gallery wrapped canvases. I don't buy my MDF from there, but I do have a link for that. And I have a 10% off link for Lowly Beffy, where I buy my cradled wood rounds. So try to keep a lot of stuff in there for you guys to make things helpful. That is Baltic Amber Prism Pour Color, and it is one of my favorites. It is just such a rich, like, reddish purplish coppery color and it looks great with turquoise thalo it is way too thick because I'm again using up some paint I've had mixed up for a while so I'm taking a lot of chances with this bloom um, as I'm putting these puddles down I'm thinking man I'm trying to blow this out myself that's going to be super hard because the paint's super thick um, but you know it, it turns out okay I had to work for it but I definitely used a lot of the poppy, uh, so it's very, it's very red. Um, but that poppy is a beautiful color. It really, really is. I think what I'm doing in the background there is trying to thin it down a little bit. I mean, look at that. Such a beautiful color. So I did uh, resin these coasters that I did in this color yesterday. And they're gorgeous. I really love them. I love the way they turned out. I probably would mix up these colors and do these colors again on purpose. So part of the struggle I ran into is I tried to use up all the poppy because I wanted to finish it out. And I probably overpowered the painting a little bit. At some point I was just like, okay, you're not going to finish it all. You know, put it away. Um, and then you see I'm still still bringing it back. I mean, it is a gorgeous color, but because I used so much of it, there wasn't as much contrast as on the little coasters. 
and then cobalt turquoise light. I used a little too much of this one too. I had to thin it down a little bit, but it's a perfect complement to those colors. So anyway, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, yeah, it's very hot here in Texas. It's over 100 and we're under all the heat advisories, so I'm ready for winter to come back now. Some of you guys up north are like, no, no, we just got out of winter and made a comeback in some places recently, but it's very hot here. So some of those, because I had just thinned um, them down a little bit, had a lot of bubbles. So I had to pop a couple of those surface level bubbles. So, you can see I'm trying to not, um, trying to not overdo it with the cobalt turquoise, but I definitely do overdo it. So, bummer, huh? All right. Now I'm using a, I already forgot. Black cell activator, so that's a uh, lamp black from M. Graham and bronze from Amsterdam. So both are mixed about three parts Australian Floetrol, which again I get from Pixel Paint Designs, to one part paint. If you use a heavier body paint, then you might lean closer to four parts. Some people use a standard four to one ratio. Um, I think it all depends on what works for you and your weather and all that is a factor. So I'm about to get right in the way. So sorry. And I got my hair right in the paint. You guys probably will see it happen. My hair is kind of thin. So when I try to do the bun thing, that doesn't work for me. So just to critique my blow, um, you can actually see a little bit better than you usually can. So ideally you want to blow out the center until you get kind of a large target. Because I'm leaning over it, I'm not pulling my head back enough to broaden that area. And so I'm getting those like fingerling type um, blows, which is, this is one of the things I'm practicing. Like I know what I need to do, I just don't yet do it well. So, and as a result, you can see the cells um, are impacted because I'm having to go back and spread out the parts I'm not getting. So in some ways I'm warping the cells that are forming because I didn't get it done the first time. But if you're practicing blooms and you're practicing blowing them out yourself and you're having that problem, just know like that's a real struggle. And this is part of why we practice, right? I've done blooms a long time, but I have never spent a lot of time practicing on blowing them out myself. And I'm really challenging myself to try to do better with that. But because I don't do a good job spreading it out and bringing my head far enough back, see, I'm way too close to it. And um, so as a result, I work a lot harder to fix what I didn't do well the first time. See how I'm trying to catch that gently with my breath? Because if you don't, you're going to blow it too harshly and mess up the cell formation. So I'm trying to catch the cell activator that's on the outside. What worked to my advantage in this case um, is that I had too much paint on the surface, so I had enough to move it. So we're just uh, just kind of checking it to see if I have any more work I can do. You take a skewer and I try to mess with the outside edges, but it, it ends up being a silly thing to mess with because I have so much paint there that all that stuff on the outside is going to spin right off. Now, one of the other things I want to work on is not using too much paint because you get you lose some really cool lacing around the edges when you use too much paint because essentially all you do is spin your center out. Um, but, you know, we got to work on a couple of things at a time, you know. But you can see right down here toward the bottom right, some of that lacing would look really cool if it was, if it remained, but it's not going to remain. So 
I'm still messing with it. I tend to overwork things. Spin, spin, spin. Come on, Amanda. You can do it. So anyway, I did angle my camera a little bit differently and a happy accident result was that you were able to see a little bit more of the blow, which normally you can't see. So if I can get it to stay like that, that might work out. So I'm, all this stuff I'm doing now is uh, really an exercise in futility. So, so bear with me. It looks kind of funky, but it's going to spread out to be pretty and under resin, it'll be really beautiful. I need to start doing shorts or something to show you guys when things get resin so you see what they look like under resin. I always post them to my Facebook group, but I don't always remember to go back and post them on YouTube. But I'll try to do better. I also post them on TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff. So all those links are below if you're into that sort of thing. But So I think we popped a couple bubbles and gave it another good spin. And then I'll bring you down for a close-up. But you can see, even like kind of out as far as I am now or toward the bottom, where there's some really cool lacing and effects that you don't quite see a lot of when you use too much paint because you end up spinning it off. Some of it stays, but that's a, obviously a very uh, big center. <laughs> so it's pretty, but it definitely would be prettier if we hadn't overdone it with the paint. But I'm still happy with it, and I hope that you guys enjoy the uh, the process with me and the practice. Um, but yeah, I have tons of ideas in my head and tons of things I want to do and just not a ton of time. So sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know. Um, okay. All right, we're just spinning a couple couple spots, making sure there's nothing crazy, and then I will bring you down for a close-up. Again, thank you so much for watching. I do have a tutorial mixing video always in my description box. I get a lot of questions about, you know, what do you use for the various bloom layers, etc. Um, so I have that down there for you. Um, hopefully that is helpful for everyone. Um, again, my Fluid Art Friends Facebook group is there. Social media links are there. Amazon shop is there. Let me bring you down for a close-up. So. All right, so here's our close-up. Used a little bit too much of the cobalt turquoise light, but so happy I got to do a regular bloom with these colors. Look how beautiful that poppy color is. It looks great with turquoise thalo and rich auburn. So I finished off the Van Dyke Brown and almost finished the poppy so I'll probably set a couple of those aside and do them in a swipe but look at the beautiful details I love these tiny little cells right here love that so let me know what you think hopefully you enjoyed this little bloom um, I really love the way the coasters turned out so when I had enough paint, I was like, hmm, let's try a bloom. And you know, usually when you go bigger, you know, the details change. And I obviously used too much paint, but I still think this turned out really beautiful and gave me a little blowing practice too. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.